Good morning everyone or maybe it's good evening or good afternoon in some parts of the world. Although this is uh, this is going to be my um start starting of my booktuber like I really haven't got much subscribers very less even less than I guess less less than 100 but this is just a starting I really am okay but I decided to start up with this booktubers like I want to be one of the booktubers uh I got motivated with book reading and book reading sessions I have joined some clubs also book clubs and like um I want to show today about this I just want to start up with showing you my book journal reading journal that I started last year and last year has been my like grand achievement in throughout my whole life I read 23 books in 2023 and I know it's not much for many of the uh, readers or bookworms out there but it's believe me trust me it's a huge a uh, big step for me like by the end of the year i just couldn't believe i didn't even set a target point in the beginning of 2023 that i would be reading this much or that much believe me i just started with one or two books okay like i the year of 2023 was uh, really like it was like a grand roller coaster for me and uh, the only thing like there was there were uh, so many times where i wanted to get isolated i didn't want to um, sit and talk to people or i don't know there was a lot of moment where i just want to share like i just want to share my thoughts feelings and everything with just some um i don't know not people some things like some stuffs like books okay maybe that's why i turn my turn myself towards book and this has been my like it's not a newly born passion this has been my passion books have been my obsession since childhood days and since high school i have been obsessed with books and i have been collecting books i'll show you my bookshelves my book collections one day also i mean later in one of my videos if this video gets success like if people start watching my video and channel um i don't know i really haven't thought about much content but i just wanted to show you about the this little achievement of my 2023 where i read 20 23 books and um okay let's start um this journal was bought like this diary this notebook was really like i i got this from this uh one of the cafes is there in my hometown called book cafe okay and there uh, they had this cafe they i mean they have this cafe for coffee coffee and tea cafe upstairs and uh, and they have books also like we can go for i i went i actually went for book shopping and they were having some other uh stationery stuff and i instead of books i really got this fine and pretty notebook there and it was mm, around 400 bucks i think i got this like 2 years back now if i count from now from uh, i mean if i can remember then i think i got this in the year 2022 ke beginning i think and i the, i was having this notebook i had this notebook for so long without using without starting and finally i got to start with this reading journal and like motiv being mot after motivated from um after getting motivation from lots of book tube uh, book tubers okay okay this was some rough drawings and rough writings that i couldn't think of better ways to start this this notebook i wanted to start writing something like i wanted to get this notebook this book to be useful 
I wanted to make this useful to me. I mean, but mm, the beginning few pages are just like, just like rough notebook or something. Until and unless I got to my final destination of uh, finally making this book my reading journal. Okay, these are all the lists. <sighs> these are the lists I'm in. These are the lists that I made. I started entering this one after the uh, one after the other. As soon as I got completed with my reading of one book, then I just kept on adding and adding, 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 adding and. By the end of 23, I don't know what I am speaking. By the end of 2023, by the end of December last last year, I just realized that even though I didn't put, I didn't um, keep any target for that year because I knew that I wouldn't get time or I wouldn't be able to manage like for it, like it was happening throughout my life till now till that. So I didn't keep any. I just started with a book, then. Like without any pressure to myself, without any target, without any promise that I'll be I will keep reading this much and that much. But as I begin reading, and as I begin to um, I don't know, complete one book, then I was tempted to start with the next one, and I was like. Just like that, being carried away with one after the other, and finally, this is the result. Okay, okay. Uh, what to say? Okay, as I've said, this was just roughly started in the beginning, so I didn't even make like I didn't even make. I just entered ooh, this first book of the year, which I read in 2023. That is Colin Hoover Khan, Never. Um, it ends with us. I mean, so see my haphazard manner. Like this should be the this should have been my first read, but uh, I don't know why. Okay, it's here. Okay, in the beginning it was not in the series. Okay, um, this was not much good. Like uh, I just raw see lots of overwriting and lots of mistake and everything okay and here is the next one and here i left out some pages in the middle now so it is like haphazardly done here is the next one maybe it's the third book okay and um okay i think starting from here it was becoming fine finer and finer to the lighthouse i read this one actually uh these classic books i didn't read i didn't give the rating because these were already like for example virginia wolf who doesn't know this writer this author so i thought i was not privileged to read the this kind of books only i mean well-known famous already established books so i only rate it i only give my rating to the new books okay okay this one another virginia wolf this i read i remember i read from my um ebook okay not the physical here still improving with a bit of sticker see stickers and stickers but still i needed some improvement in my journaling way and this random stuff okay okay these are the list of the movies and web series that i watch and here okay this book i want to mention something like i got inspired from this booktubers called heli um i'll share her page some other time okay she's too good she's too good in giving her reviews like it like all of her reviews will be um like she doesn't make any spoiler reviews okay so without spoiling anything she made me want to just order that la i remember she made me order this at that very moment okay i ordered this after watching her channel and this was one of the books that inspired me to keep going on thriller okay it's of thriller genre okay and this one by kim uh, no, 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 sorry. This one, Kim Jeong, born 1982 by Cham Nam Joo. 
okay this was also really like short and good okay based on korean korean story translated into english and this is also one of my favorites it's kind of auto by uh not auto but it's kind of biography okay but written more in more in a fictional way and gone girl wow this is so like another level of chiller i don't know which gives you like thrilling vibes another level like most of you must have watched the movie also i forgot the name of the actors but mm, this mo this one is there in the netflix and i wanted while i was reading trust me i wanted to watch the movie also and i didn't want to spoil the story for me because once everybody knows everyone at least the book readers readers will know that uh, whenever you watch a movie based on some novel then like before reading if you start watching the movie then everything will be spoiled like they in the midst of com- compiling everything that's written in the book in some one and a half hours or two hours movie they tend to cut most of the beautiful parts or they tend cutting is okay but they tend to edit also editing is i i was not okay with this and i had to finish though i did like this i like while i when i reached halfway of this book when i reached the halfway i started watching the movie and i stopped till like i started watching but had to stop till that part where i had stopped reading okay like i was reading this then watching that reading this watching that i don't know <laughs> crazy Okay, Secret Garden. Everyone knows we used to study this in. We have heard this, uh, in our schools, like we used to have in our English textbooks. Okay, one of the chapters was Secret Garden, and I don't know. I feel like I we had this in our uh t- textbooks. Okay, but then it's of like it. you it's not for only children okay it's not limited because this book though it seems like it's for some um some 9 to 10 years old child but it has lots of deeper meanings inside and you can uh easily like get carried away with some of the morals or some of the very beautiful words and sentences and lines being given here book lovers this was i mean this is my first emily henry's and uh this was really good this was really really good and all of her i have heard reviews but um like by the time i started this book so many booktube uh, i mean sorry so many booktubers have already given reviews about her other books and one of the recent books that was released last year was this happy place and i don't know why i didn't start with that with that book oh one of the reasons i remember this mentioned this has this book lovers which is like getting similar vibes with us i mean with me and this was pre- this was more cheaper okay and um, because of the new newly released though always it comes in a more expensive way a uh, more expensive Uh, so like her new new release book was more expensive so i decided to watch um, to order it some other time when i have more money okay <laughs> great gets be one of the finest and all time favorite evergreen by the way this also has movie in the netflix okay starring uh, starring that leonardo di caprio titanic guy i guess Okay, I haven't watched The Housemaid. Another thriller book, so good, and this writer is so good. Ignore the outsider, outside noise. Okay, this is so irritating. I don't know why. Rebecca, this one is also like it's kind of a uh, dark academia books. Okay, ah, uh, sorry, sorry, not dark academia. It's of gothic. Okay, gothic love story. gothic and thriller and mystery suspense again at the same time romance is there you'll get the whole package here but um 
it also has movie i remember yeah i have i watched the movie after just completing the book okay and movie was good because i like the actors in that movie so good love hypothesis who doesn't know ellie hazel with do this ellie do the authors name is not ellie hazel wood i guess yeah it's the it's her pen name okay so i haven't really tried it although i am having in my tbr list this year okay uh, this was the only one i read of ellie hazelwood last year and diary of mary burke i didn't give the rating because it's not a fictional or it's not a book written by any author i mean it was a it's a diary but um what to say the book which was which uh the one who has written author name is also not writ- written because this was a compilation and made up into a form of a book okay of compiling all the information by this mary burke and american half american half germany like this girl she was having her mother as america uh, an american blood and since she belonged to america she is half american she was saved from all the uh, holocaust that time in warsaw so very sad and very depressing stories we have we know about the diary of any frank it's from the any frank's view and this one is from mary burke's view okay so just don't think that you will not get any new content from her diary okay this one has another level of story you'll get to know if you read it this one is surfacing by margaret atwood again this was uh the first my first book of this author okay i'll try to read but although her language her everything her content is very very difficult for me like i had to watch a review a summary i had to listen to a summary explained by some experts on this book because the way she presented it was not some it was not a joke i mean you will get to know again if you read if you go through this through her books very very deep like so deep i don't know Powerless. Powerless got released la- last year only by Lauren Roberts. I love this writer so much. I follow her in Instagrams and I think her next this is a uh, I uh, two volume series like see it's the first volume and another volume go- will be getting released this year only. It's called Reckless by Lauren Roberts and this book was so good. Okay, so good. Enemy enemy to lover genre okay as this has been the trend these days people are loving this genre of uh, the enemy to lovers genre okay the silent patient oh so scary so scary and your brain by the time you are done with this book your brain will be you will need some time to relax sit back and think and digest everything like every other thing the author has put together in this book and you can't i don't know i was imagining i was thinking so hard that how could someone come to this kind of plot i should say such uh brain teaser <laughs> so good so so good i just wish they make a movie on this so that i can visualize again like i want to see which actors play which character so that i can like visualize more in a more um i don't know better way i say i should say i mean otherwise you need to like whenever someone if someone like if one of my friends asks that oh, can you brief me on the silent patient book then i think i will still need some time some moment to uh compile everything into pieces before presenting this to someone else so for me i'm talking about for me i will need a visual demonstration by some good really really good actors This is I sandwich very short story based on Japanese Jap- Japanese story and this was about 89 or 90 pages very short yet very entertaining okay very sweet i should say anatomy a love story this comes this uh this is a two volume series and i am re- yet to read 
the second one second one i have kept for the tbr this year again this is so good as i'm in the medical profession as a medical uh personality i got i don't know i got on to hold for of this book like i was so so much i don't know this this book was like uh it has plots also and it has love story also and it's this is this one is like that rebecca that the one i mentioned earlier okay rebecca gothic love story here also i have mentioned the genre and this is some kind of like a girl dreaming of becoming a surgeon and the society not society is not accepting a uh, female gender going into medicine and all and i don't know let's talk about this book especially on this book one fine day okay i want to talk so much on this book okay i think this is the last one of the year 2023 this is going to hurt by adam k this is kind of a diary by this resident okay his whole journey throughout the medicine and i me actually i borrowed this from my sister she heard this from one of her friends and she got this in a book fair that we went and she even before she started reading this i read i I got done with this book because um again medical medicine okay okay that's it these look at all this these are the upcoming one whatever books I have read till now uh, uh, this year okay but I have yet to enter the content so these are some of the um, page markers I got this from Amazon and i got this really in cheaper price discounted price and this these were so much helpful in annotating annotation actually regarding annotation also i want to talk uh i want to make one video regarding the annotations also how i started annotating books i didn't know about the annotations and what what to annotate but I got to know gradually gradually i got to know about annotating and believe me it's really really fun and okay i'll end up here i am also tired and i think i should stop here okay please uh recommend my channel to your friends and family because excuse me for my um very mm, i don't know unedited kind of unfiltered video since this is my first i just wish to share my reading journal that's all then later on i'll try to put up uh because since i'm really into um, work i'm really i really want to get um, my channel working okay so though i started my channel a few years back but i never really like i was confused with the con contents which one to put what thing whether whether i should do in my daily blog whether books whether shopping blogs i don't know i i was confused all the time and i just shut my channel off then i finally wanted to start with books and i'll be doing all about books 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 and sometimes i might put about daily blog about my duty about my postings about studies let's see okay have a good day everyone